Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about cybersecurity questions or cybersecurity analyst questions or engineering questions or whatever kind of questions you may, you know, expect in an interview. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please like, subscribe, and share. If you're returning, you know the deal. Let's have some fun. So I often get a lot of questions like, what kind of questions am I going to be getting on an interview? And I always say, I don't know, but I can... I can assume what kind of questions, right? Because every company is different, but there is these generic questions. And I used to do mock interviews. So I, you know, I used to jot down these questions and answers and stuff like that and interview folks as well. So we're going to go through some of those questions today. I just jotted, I think, down like uh, 10 questions. So a lot of people, a lot of people that interview folks ask the question, define cryptography, right? What is what is it? You know, obviously cryptography helps you, you know, secure information from third parties, right? Say for example, you want to make sure the data that you're getting from a third party vendor is encrypted and we can use some kind of cryptography for that. So it allows the sender and the receiver to only access that data, right? So like an SFTP, if I'm just going to FTP securely, you know, some data that, you know, a vendor needs or whatever, we want to, you know, put some cryptography on there to secure it, right? So number two, this is a little networking as well, because if you're going to become an analyst, you have to, even in, in, in IT, cyber or whatever, you should understand the, the fundamentals of systems and networking, you know, it'll make your life a lot easier. So define trace route. What is trace route, right? When you do trace route google.com, what is it actually doing, right? And what it's doing, it helps you track those packets that are traversing through the network out to Google.com. In this, you know, in this example, it'll show you the time taken by the packet, you know, regarding each hop, so each hop to the destination. And for an example, we can do that here. Let's open up a shell, shall we? Let's do that, and we can try to explain some of these, right? So, in um. So in, in Linux, it's trace route, right? So I'm just going to put google.com in our example. So it'll show us every single route that it took in order to get to google.com. If you're using Windows, it's going to be trace cert. It's going to be look, it's going to look, it's going to be looking. It's going to be looking like this, man. So it's going to be, it's going to look like that, trace cert, right? Just if you're using Windows. All right, so obviously to check the connections, if there's any connections broke or stopped, you know, to the, to the destination, I see it, it, it identifies a point of failure. <laughs> so if you're a network engineer, if you know a router's broken or something like that, you, you're not able to ping or tr you know trace route to it, you'll start troubleshooting. All right. So number three here is what is a firewall, right? Every organization is going to be utilizing a firewall, and what is this? What is it used for, right? This is my answer. You can throw it in whatever answer you want. But a firewall is a network security appliance. You can have this appliance and it blocks, it allows and blocks traffic from the outside world coming into your organization and likewise from the inside going out. So a block of malicious traffic like worms, hackers, malware, etc. And it's used to monitor the outgoing and in, in incoming traffic, right? So it's very self-explanatory. This is a good one and I threw this in here. Describe the three-way hand, three handshake. So for an example, when I'm sending a packet to a server, what is it actually doing, right? So a client makes a connection to a server. So I'm on my computer here. I'm making a connection to YouTube. And then YouTube says, okay, you have this. And it responds with what's called a Synact request. And that Synact will come back to me. And then, okay, cool. And then we're going to acknowledge and have that three-way handshake established, right? That connection established. So that's pretty much what the three-way handshake is. So that's number four. So number five here is what is a VPN, right? So if you're more of a network security engineer, or even if you're just a security analyst, you know, maybe some folks are going to be VPNing in, you know, you want to make sure you understand what a VPN connection is. So VPN connection is also stands for virtual, it, it's a VPN, but it's abbreviated uh, uh, virtual private network. It just, you know, provides you user privacy and you can anonymize yourself on the internet, the public internet, 
so it helps you protecting any online activities okay so this is another one that I remember getting and I used to hate it I'm gonna be honest define risk vulnerability and a threat in your network right so I used to always just make up whatever I thought so now I actually have something written down that you know I utilize now so a threat you know <coughs> excuse me so a threat can be you know harm to an asset of the organization it can be you know accident accidental or intentional right like this is I can actually I'm an, I'm a threat I'm gonna be a bad guy in your organization and this is a risk right so a vulnerability is a gap or a weakness in your security system very simple right if you're running 2003 server that's gonna be a big vulnerability that you're susceptible maybe to hackers we can take advantage of that we can actually you know do some bad things right we can just damage your system use that and leverage because it's vulnerable and out of date right so the risk is when a threat right undertakes a vulnerability so that's pretty pretty self-explanatory and it can also you know cause damage to an asset and all that good stuff right so hopefully that's uh, informative and you can take a screenshot of this and take these for your next interview I don't know but um, so the next one is who are black hat hackers right so I should have I should have put more wood what is white hat and I'll explain it in this in, in this example so a black hat hacker is the person that tries to steal confidential data without permission that's the bad guys the hacker that tries to conduct uh, malicious activity you know tries to steal your data tries to you know ingest you know injecting worms malware viruses sell your stuff on the dark web just a criminal right so and then you have on the other spectrum a white hat hacker which is us right an ethical hacker an organization pays us to go and try to penetrate their network to see if we can team up and mitigate those vulnerabilities before the bad guys get in right and then there's something that's called a gray hat hacker that's a little bit on both spectrums right um, gray hat is like a little bit of white and a little bit of black that's pretty much it's you know self-explanatory okay so number eight here is how often should we do patch management this is super critical so if you're a blue teamer if you are working inside an organization on a cybersecurity team you should be patching your servers or you should have some kind of patch management whatever that may be however you're patching right so my recommendation we should always have you know every, uh, all the software up to date make sure you're on the latest release and all network devices should be patched at least once every month right like I even my home office right I patch every month minimum right sometimes I do every two weeks depending on if there's a new release on my firewall on my NAS or my whatever Windows my Linux stuff I'm always trying to stay up to date on everything so I can try to be safe right so hopefully that makes sense so another one is define phishing and how can you prevent phishing attacks right so what is phishing before we get into defending against it let, let me explain what phishing is so what phishing is is when a malicious person is trying to send out some kind of spam or, or scam say okay click on this link and you're gonna get a million dollars and then they click on the link like man I want a million bucks so they click on it they put their credentials in they put on whatever if it's a login portal and then they try to steal those credentials and then once the hacker or the bad guy has your credentials you don't get your million dollars but then they have your credentials right so how can you prevent this from your organization you can install firewalls you can make sure people aren't downloading anything from unknown sources right you can have a change uh, password policy regularly and then not providing any personal information to unknown sites right and there's many more but this is just you know in a nutshell and the number number 10 here is what is MFA or what is two-factor authentication so what two-factor authentication is is two methods to authenticate to something right if I log in in the morning I get prompted with my my duo or my octa or whatever you're using 
to authenticate to your organization or your portal. You know, maybe if you log into your bank, you need to, you know, have a MFA, you get your Google Authenticator, you have Okta, you have a YubiKey, Microsoft Authenticator, whatever you're using to, uh, you know, put your code in. So having MFA is definitely critical, and this is probably going to be an interview question, what is MFA, right? It's just another layer of security over your accounts. So that pretty much concludes this video. There can be many more questions, and if there's any questions that you've got on an interview, please leave it in the comments, and I'll you know, happy to see these kind of questions. And there's always different questions out there. So please share. So thank you so much for viewing. Please like, subscribe, and share, just like I always say. And give it a, you know, thumbs up and, you know, all that good stuff. And I really appreciate you guys checking this out. And the last thing, you're probably asking, Pat, where are you? I'm in a hotel today. So I'm away from my home. So this is what I'm doing. Um, I'm not in my house today, but I'll be back there very soon. So thank you so much for viewing and have an awesome day.